Hey folks, David Tao with Barbara.com and today we're talking about one of the members of the US Olympic team in weightlifting for Tokyo and that's Jordan De La Cruz. So we're going to go into her accomplishments, her session in Tokyo and some personal thoughts. I've been lucky enough to interview Jordan on the Barbend podcast so we have some good background here. But before we do that, to stay up to date on all things weightlifting in Tokyo at the Olympics, make sure to Google Barbend plus weightlifting or Barbend plus Tokyo Olympics. Or if you're looking for a recap or coverage of a specific body weight category, just Google Barbend plus 81 kilogram men's Olympics or Barbend plus 49 kilogram Olympics and it'll come right up at the top of Google as we cover those sessions throughout the Olympic Games. USA weightlifter Jordan De La Cruz will actually kick things off for Team USA as far as weightlifting in Tokyo. She competes in the women's 49 kilogram bodyweight category. That is the lightest bodyweight category for women at Olympic competition. So let's learn a little bit more about Jordan and just kind of go through her stat sheet real quick. Jordan is 23 years old, body weight 49 kilograms, although we've seen her compete at 55 kilograms as well in Tokyo, 49. Her hometown is Wiley, Texas. Some career highlights, and again, this is just a smattering of her highlights really distilled down because she's done a lot more than we can even list here. She's a two-time Pan American champion. She was the gold medalist at the 2020 Roma World Cup. That's an IWF World Cup. She holds three current Pan American records and nine current American records. Her best snatch at 49 kilograms is 89 kilos. That's an American and Pan American record. Her best clean and jerk at 49 kilos is 111 kilograms. Again, American record and Pan American record. Her best total, a whopping 200 kilograms. Again, an American record and a Pan American record. I'm sensing a trend here. So let's talk a little bit about this Olympic qualification cycle for Jordan. Frankly, four years ago, I don't think a lot of people had her on their radar when it came to potential Olympic team members. She was already an accomplished weightlifter, an active weightlifter, but she really kind of burst through as far as becoming a potential Olympian uh, about two years ago, maybe two and a half years ago, when she started racking up some serious hardware on the national and international stages. At 23 years old, she's certainly not the oldest member of Team USA as far as weightlifting, and she's certainly not the youngest member of Team USA as far as weightlifting this year. But she's performed very well, very steadily, and very consistently on the international stage, which secured her qualification for Tokyo. Jordan is a really focused lifter. I've had the pleasure of seeing her lift in person. I've also had the pleasure of having her on the Barbend podcast. She is zoned in on her goals. And when it comes time for competition, I mean, she puts the blinders on, or in this case, maybe the headphones on as she warms up and preps for those competition lifts. Again, focus is something to watch here. And if you watch her live in Tokyo or you watch a recap of her session, you're going to notice locked in, eyes straight forward, very workmanlike attitude when it comes to getting it done on the platform. It's really impressive to see, especially from an athlete who's so young. She uses her experience to her advantage, even though she is, again, among the younger athletes in this field, and it gives her a very good chance to walk away with some Olympic hardware. So according to the IWF rankings, that's the International Weightlifting Federation rankings heading into the Tokyo Olympics, Jordan De La Cruz is currently ranked number four when it comes to women in the 49 kilogram bodyweight category. But of the top 10 women ranked in that bodyweight category internationally, only five are competing in Tokyo. And that comes down to Olympic quotas, Teams can only send so many people. Only China and the United States are sending full teams this year, and that's due to qualification, uh, restrictions, uh, doping sanctions. Some countries have had their athlete quotas greatly reduced or removed altogether. So of the five women competing in Tokyo in this bodyweight category, who are ranked in the top 10 in this bodyweight category, Jordan is in third. It's worth noting that at the Olympics, it all comes down to the total. There are no medals awarded for just the snatch and there are no medals awarded for just the clean and jerk. This is a little different than like a world championships or a national championships or a Pan American championships. The world record total in the women's 49 kilogram body weight category is 213. Now remember Jordan De La Cruz's personal PR total 
is 200, 200 kilograms. So that's not to say that 213 will be the mark that needs to be met or even exceeded on the day. It really depends on how people show up, what kind of shape they're in, and anything could happen. It's not like world records are set in every single Olympic category at the Olympics. In fact, it's actually relatively rare that world records are set at the Olympics if you compare that out over all Olympic bodyweight categories and all sessions. However, it shows that De La Cruz really needs to bring her A game and potentially exceed her competition best to be in the running for a medal. Because 210 to 213, maybe even a little bit higher, that's the range we're looking at for gold in this body weight category. A total of 200 might put De La Cruz on the outside looking in. However, if she has a great day, and depending on how her competitors show up, and again, anyone could bomb out, De La Cruz has a legitimate shot at bringing home an Olympic medal for America.